2025, last night, a murder occurred in a remote part of this swamp. A small tourist attraction, deep within the heart of the marsh. Hang on. A tourist attraction? Here? I don't get it. Why would anyone come here by choice? I've explained this already. This area is famous. Famous? All I read was that some idiot thought they saw an alien here a hundred years ago. Get your facts straight for once. We're talking about a creature that's lived in the swamp for over 60 years. Okay, so it's a 60-year-old alien. I still don't see why it matters. If it matters to anyone, it's you. That creature is our prime suspect. The murder suspect? That's right. This is no Loch Ness monster. You need to be taking this seriously. No, look, come on. How am I supposed to arrest something that might not exist? You've always enjoyed a challenge before. You can start by reading this. Our case file? <laughs> There's not a lot of it, is there? As usual, we only know the bare essentials at this point. Our murder victim, Richard Remington, he was in charge of this, uh, tourist attraction. Boggy's Bog? <laughs> what a name. Boggy is the name of our creature. Well, nowadays it is. You mean that stupid cartoon character? I I've heard of him. That thing is our murder suspect? There's more to Boggy than the cartoon character, I promise you. This is the place it all began. You'll find out soon enough. Your case file is in the top right. You can look at your clues and suspect profiles in here. When you've collected some, of course. I'll stay and guard our boat, so if you're confused, come back here and I'll help you. That's where I need to go. I can switch to walk mode with the button in the bottom right. Oh, and if I'm feeling confident, I can turn off those sparkly hit icons in the options menu. Wow, he didn't get lost yet. No, I, well, I only just got here. Who are you? Don't remember. <laughs> of course, you're not great at remembering. I should be offended, though. You're that weird girl from the fairground. Saw your hat blow through here already. You must be slow, if it wouldn't even wait for you. Well, if you let me, I'd better go after it. You can wait here and be You'll get lost! I would never forgive myself if I let you go through without the map. You have a map of the swamp? Not anymore. I'm giving it to you. You should really stay here. It's dangerous. There's been a murder. Although, I suppose you know all about it already? They're saying it was the creature. But it can't be him. He doesn't seem like a killing sort of creature. Nope. He's a different sort of creature. Wait, what do you mean? If you- Hmm. She disappeared. I might 
pretend I imagined her. Just my luck, the gate's closed. Looks like I can move these middle lines. I should just have to slide at least one of them out of the bottom of the lock. Then I'll be able to get through this gate. Probably. Hey, nice. I might get one of these from my office. This is a tourist attraction? The whole thing just... Let's do some thinking. Drag any two stray thoughts into those slots at the bottom and flick through the connecting statements in between to make a sentence. Tap the confirm button to try it out. I just have to focus my thoughts and reach a conclusion. Boggy's bog seems like the middle of nowhere. My beard is too stupid for my hat to murder someone. Uh, no. The tourist attraction is far too remote for that little girl to make any money. I don't get it. Seriously. The swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money. Hmm, it's really bugging me. What's the story behind this place? These flower petals seem a little out of place, lying on the ground over there. These flower petals seem a little out of place, lying on the ground over there. I should visit the crime scene before I do anything else. I think Officer James said it was to the west. So, this is where they found Remington's body. There's an open window above Remington's body. One of the curtains is ripped and hanging on the outside. Ah, I can't get in here without a key. 
and I maybe if I get desperate later on. What's this? There's a lockpick dropped amongst the weeds down here in the water. I just have to work out which vine to break and tap that button. That's the one. But I wonder where this lockpick came from. Ah, I can't get in here without a key. And I don't feel like it. Maybe if I get desperate later on. Ah, I can't get in here without a key. Maybe if I get... Ah, some suspects. Let's get this investigation started. a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. And this side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. And that museum is quite a nice building, which makes it look even more out of place in the swamp. Is it being held up in wooden supports? It's bizarre. The door's jammed unless I can get these brass handles out of it. Seems like I can rotate them around, just until the gap in the middle is clear. That top hat guy would have so struggled with this one. Let's see here. This journal who first discovered Boggy in this swamp. There's a little door in the wall here. I think it leads outside. It's locked though. Hmm. Let me guess, you don't work here, do you? I wonder if that makes you the first tourist I've seen today. You're incorrect, detective. I am no mere tourist. How did you know I was a detective? Was it my stylish trench coat, my sensitive, inquisitive manner? It was the clueless expression on your face. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's the one. Right. That's it. You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent Folder. What are you doing? I'm writing bad things about you in my notebook. So, Mr. Folder. Agent Folder. Yeah, uh, were you here yesterday? What were you doing last night? I was here, in the museum, going through my files one final time before disappearing into the night. Don't museums usually close in the evenings? They do. I've never been one to worry about other people's schedules. I come and go as I please. There's a key to every lock, detective. Oh, so you have the key to the museum? Of course I don't. Why would you think that? Well, I... Once again, that clueless expression. I use a lockpick and get in through the small side door. I have a right to be here, you see. Remington has no business locking... You just admitted to breaking the law. If everyone did that, my job would be a lot easier. It's not my best lockpick. This new one's cheap. I used to own one, a superior model. Unfortunately, I misplaced it in one of the darker corners of the swamp, so I don't... I'm writing down your confession about sneaking around here at night. Then what are you going to do? Report me to Remington? Good luck, my friend. I need to pick my questions carefully. The lock 
cockpit I found near Remington's body might belong to Agent Folder. As far as I know, Agent Folder is experienced with lockpicks. I wonder if he's hiding something. Something you found on the floor? Come back when I'm not so busy, alright? If I cared about that person, I would know everything I need to know already. I have a bone to pick with you. Are you setting yourself up for a joke? Something about a lockpick? Maybe. Who knows? Stop distracting me. I'm trying to interrogate you. My apologies. Go ahead. So, what are we showing Folder now? Where did I find this again? I found a lockpick at the scene of the crime. Oh, apparently you did. Why does this concern me? You already admitted to owning one of these, and how you're ever so happy to come and go as you please with it, am I right? Be honest. Luckily for me, Detective, I was honest with you. I believe I have already explained that second lockpick before you even found it. You lost your lockpick in the swamp and had to buy a new one. That's right. I appreciate you finding it for me. However, I won't ask for it back. Apparently it has since become some diabolical instrument in the art of murder. Yeah, it's an important piece of evidence. So, if you're not a tourist, and you don't work here. I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. So, you're visiting the museum for fun. Fun! <laughs> well, there's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Ah, what kind of secrets? It's just a museum about Boggy, right? The swamp creature. He's one of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. A fascinating combination of scientific fact and wild speculation. I'm with you on the speculation front. Although, come to think of it, people have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. A wise suggestion. And you've come to the right person. My knowledge far exceeds anyone else you might have met so far. So, you'll help me? I suppose I could divulge some of my findings with you. If you're in the mood for a little light reading, let me find it for you. Oh, yeah, this'll do. Something for uh, beginners, at least. This journal, huh, it's full of drawings and notes all about Boggy. It seems to be the centerpiece of the entire museum. Someone please tell me why there's a house here. Well, the lights are on. The latch is broken on this door. 
seems I can fix it with those three cogs if I just put them in the right place. Once they're on the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. Perfect. I am amazing. There's a book on the table. I think it's a book about flowers. How fascinating. I must take some time to read it. You just walked straight into my house, did you? Not exactly. I had to climb up here first. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention. But I can make exceptions for harmless idiots. Do you get any attention up here? Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. But I don't think you're going to, are you? Uh, no. Um, I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but to be honest, I climbed all the way up here and I just like being indoors. Well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Weybridge, and I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. I'm Detective Grimoire, and I think I might agree with you. Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Do you even know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. Oh, that sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here, in my house, by myself. Mm-hmm. What else? That's it. Thanks. Just give me a minute to write all this down. This is a 60-year-old journal. It was on display in a museum. I know what it is. I thought you might. You can put that away. I can't help you with it. What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. And I have absolutely nothing to do with him. Or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. Even longer than... Well, anyone. I, I like numbers. Sixty years, something like that. What have you been doing for that time, if you don't mind me asking? I have many reasons to be here, but I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set, but if you bring me an object that has liquid on it, or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Wow, how do you do that? Chemistry.
predictably, a trash can, and I just can't resist taking a look inside. The glamorous life of a detective. My favorite part of the job. Maybe there's something underneath the trash in here. Hello, what's this? Just a piece of paper? Or something more sinister? The tables and chairs are made out of parts of a ship, I think. Never really learned much about ships. <laughs> ah, yes. I heard they were sending somebody over. So you're Detective Grimoire. At your service. Well, uh, kind of. And yeah, you're a suspect, too. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Feel free to be as suspicious as you like. I won't be offended. You can call me Harper. How did you know my name? I can only assume I must have read about one of your many exploits. But I think you'll find this swamp to be your greatest challenge. You mean this murder case? I'm sure I can handle it. The swamp itself has a history that has captured many imaginations. For better or for worse. My advice to you, look to the past. It could be the way forward. I'm supposed to look to the past, right? The swamp creature was living in the swamp when Boggy became a famous cartoon character. I'm losing my mind here. I'm starting to piece together the history of this place. Richard Remington built the museum because the swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 60 years ago. What is that supposed to mean? Richard Remington built the museum because the swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 20 years ago. I don't get it. Seriously. Richard Remington built the museum because the swamp creature became a famous cartoon character. What is that supposed to mean? Is Weybridge connected to the swamp's history? Lady Weybridge built the museum because the swamp creature became a famous cartoon character. I'm losing my mind. Lady 
Weybridge built the museum because the swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 20 years ago. I'm losing my mind here. Lady Weybridge built the museum because Boggy became a famous cartoon character. I don't get it. Lady Weybridge founded Boggy Spog when Boggy became a famous cartoon character. I'm losing my... Lady Weybridge was living in the swamp when Boggy became a famous cartoon character. Uh... Lady Weybridge was living in the swamp when the swamp creature was hunted and killed. Ooh, that's nearly right. Lady Weybridge was living in the swamp when Richard Remington was hunted and killed. I don't get it. Sit Lady Weybridge founded Boggy Spog when the swamp creature was hunted and killed. I'm losing my mind. Richard Remington was living in the swamp when the swamp creature was hunted and killed. What is that supposed to be? That little girl was living in the swamp when the swamp creature was hunted and killed. No, oh, that doesn't make sense, does it? Richard Remington founded Boggy Spog when the swamp creature was hunted and killed. Uh, no. Richard Remington killed the swamp creature when the swamp creature was hunted and killed. I don't get it. Richard Remington built the museum because the swamp creature was hunted and killed. Uh, no. Agent Fodor was living in the swamp when the swamp creature was hunted and killed. No, oh, that... Lady Weybridge built the museum because the swamp creature was hunted and killed. What is that? Lady Weybridge was living in the swamp when the swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 60 years ago. Ah, Lady Weybridge. She was living here when Boggy was first discovered by the explorer.